the most anticipated debate is here with us, organized by Vice Versa. The Great Coherence Debate took place at Amsterdam, the Dock of Weg, at the Netherlands. And this is what the students here in Nairobi have to say. It's a virtual connection between Kenya, Netherlands and the rest of the world. And these are the views of the students at Amref International University. We are here with our colleagues from the same institution. And today we wanted to talk about fair access to health as best medicine. This is a conversation that we had been following closely uh, from the great coherence debate uh, which was hosted in Netherlands and us here we want to be able to give our opinions on it. As an African country, what can we do to better have fair access to health as best medicine? This boils down to our own policies, the kind of policies and the kind of implementation structures that we have as African countries in that we need to ensure that one, whatever we do within our policies and whatever we say within our policies is actually, you know, actuated to each and every person within this African country. But then again, secondly, we also need accountability structures, accountability structures that can ensure that whatever is being done or whatever is being said is actually being done and each and every person actually does have access to these accountability mechanisms. I concur with you, but the next thing I want to ask um, Ilma is how does the African nation break even to be able to implement this kind of policies? Health is very important to us as human beings and we need to ensure that we get access to these um, medical um, facilities and uh, all types of treatment that we need as individuals. But then the question is how sure are we that we can get the medication? How sure are we we are able to get the best medication? How sure are we are able to um, be aware of the type of medication that we need to get. Um, in an instance, um, I can talk about now um, poliomyelitis. We know that poliomyelitis is a condition that affects kids and you'll find that even if WHO comes up with a policy of trying to eradicate this type of um, um, disease in uh, kids, we find that many people are not aware of poliomyelitis. And if we come up with the vaccines that we go to door to door to with people, sorry, and we're like, we want to vaccinate them, um, we find that people are rejecting. Reason being, they're not aware. They're not aware of what vaccine are we giving to these kids. They're not aware of the side effects. They're, like, they're just in the blank about um, the effect of the vaccine, um, the effect of this disease to human beings, especially kids. So I think that um, as a government, as um, Africa, as um, government post, uh, policies, as health policies, we have to ensure we come up with ways on how we are going to prove um, creating awareness to various individuals. We really don't, we're not really accountable in such a way of, we want like to be independent. We, we do have that mindset that we, we are dependent on countries like Europe to, to make our own policies and then implement them so we can follow them up. We don't have that accountability that we can own up and say we are going to make our own policies. That's what we are, we are lacking. For us to be able to have this continuation and to have such policies implemented in our country, what are we not doing as a Kenyan country to be able to achieve such kind of aspects? Lack of political goodwill. Um, most African countries, not only just to speak about Kenya, we work in regards in a way that we rely on political leaders to be able to propel us into the greater future. But the unfortunate thing is that once they get into power, they get their own selfish interest and corruption sets in. And you'll find that, yes, they would have good interest in regards to you know, implementing policies or even coming up with projects that are going to help. But somewhere along the way, sustainability is cut short. Empowering our communities. In this regard, I mean the healthcare workforce to be able to not only just be a battle of only the political institution, but also a battle of the healthcare workers as well as they keep on implementing the same to its very own citizens. How well is our system structured to be able to uh, enforce this notion that says fair access to health as best medicine? It's time for us as Africans, we've been fed enough, which we appreciate even as a country, that yes, we are being fed. But on talking of the issues of unsustainability, 
if they can impact on us such that we can also be able to stand on our feet without fully depending on them. Yes, they can still advise us and they can be on us just to see how we are doing, but us to be able to stand on our feet. We were speaking on the basis of now an African nation and not any other involved uh, country in it and as an African continent and what you've seen that is that we need to work on a few things for us to be able to make this a success. We need to bring the policies home, we need to address the disparities that we are having in our economical classes so that you're able to really attend to this matter that we have. And to add on to that, there is one thing that we, one of our colleagues talked about and it was about education. The more we keep seeing Africa as a competition, the more Africa will never really prosper. Because now if you don't give us education as Africans, that we need to have this so that we can create our own um, pharmaceutical products so we can create our own vaccines, then that entirely means you, you're using us as your market. And it is a good thing to actually use us as your market because now it's the drugs help us as Africans. We do not say they do not help us. But what we are crying for as Africans and as a youth advocate, we are saying teach us how we can be able to use this give us the information, give us the education so that we can be able to stand on our own. Because now Africa has been looked at as a humanitarian setting for the longest. And that is not something we want to have in future. We want Africa to be uh, to, to move. If we improve our education, if Africans are well educated, if they are aware of what is going on, I think they'll be able to make a change within the system that will be able to help us to work together as a team to achieve the fair access uh, to health as best medicine. Well then that was it. The international debate has concluded and we've gotten to hear what the students here in Nairobi, Kenya have to say. Catch you on our next debate. My name is Michael Timona for Vice Versa Global and Vice Versa Netherlands.